We are excited today to sit down with Monette Stevens, CEO of SF Growth Capital here in the Experience Center and at Upgrade 2023. Monette, welcome to the show. Thank you for inviting me. This is a fantastic show. It's great to have you. Uh, for our audience, would you introduce yourself, Monette, and how you came to be here? I came to be here by stopping by one day to see what was going on in this amazing building and was really pleased to see all of the innovation that's happening at NTT and the ways that NTT is getting it out into the world. So, Monette, you have a long history in the tech sector, including in networking and fiber optic technology. Tell our audience a little bit about your, your background. Yeah, I started my career in the carrier space um, doing interactive voice response software and the device drivers and the networking protocol stacks. That company, I was right out of college. It was my first startup that I was involved with. And I ended up writing actually an FDDI, fiber optic uh, data um, interchange network uh, device driver there and was first exposed to fiber optics at that point in my career. I also wrote a number of other protocol stacks and worked on operating systems internals that are now being used, you know, throughout the industry. So very exciting time. Oh, wow. So uh, brings back to sort of the beginning of the internet, all of the art of the possible that's getting unlocked these days. It's, it must be incredible to see. Yeah, it is. I was fortunate to be involved with three startups really early in my career. The first two IPO'd and the third went public by being acquired. I then was running the U.S. division of another company, which was then acquired by a public company. And after that, I got into banking and co-founded and ran a broker-dealer that did both private placement and mergers and acquisitions. So I've been involved with companies from inception all the way through multiple different ways of exiting by being acquired or going through IPO. Wow, so you must be quite a mentor here in the Valley uh, for folks that are embarking on the journey of innovating. Yeah, it's been super exciting. I mean, working with all different types of technology. I'm an engineer. I have undergraduate and graduate degrees in computer science and electrical engineering. And then having gone into banking and um, was fully registered broker-dealer with my Series 7, 24, and 63. So I've been able to combine my experience of working with startups with helping them develop growth strategies and strategies around acquiring capital, um, and then taking them through different levels of exit, mostly uh, acquisition, and positioning themselves for acquisition. That's one of the things that I find is so exciting about what NTT is doing with the Experience Center and with innovation is looking at companies and having a real strong focus at early and growth stage companies and supporting them through their venture arms and then bringing them into their portfolio. NTT is committed to innovation from uh, basic research all the way through to working directly with startups, investing in startups, and uh, trying to imagine here in the Experience Center how we can accelerate innovation into companies. And uh, was hoping you could share with the audience some of your experience with that, with accelerating innovation and working with large enterprises to do that. I help companies that are not only looking for growth capital, but looking for ways to increase their revenue and generate more income based on developing partnerships with large corporates. And the more relevant that a company can be to a large corporate entity and understand how the large corporations are doing business and the kind of services and products that not only compete but are adjacent and fit well with their product line. Um, often is the way that companies can get into and smaller companies can start making partnerships with large companies. With companies, lar smaller companies, it's usually someone that you're doing business with that is going to first make the indication of interest to acquire you. So when I'm helping companies develop a growth strategy 
they need to be thinking, yeah, is it going to be one of the large companies that acquire us? Oftentimes it's a well-funded private or a different, you know, a different company. But having that in mind and starting those relationships early is key to having successful exits. So when, when it comes to um, startups, right, and their growth strategy, I think this is what you're sharing is there's a lot of innovation here in the Valley and navigating to land those enterprise customers. Do you have lessons learned uh, in the trenches here on some, some key things to think about when, when trying to court and um, identify large enterprises? I definitely do. And having worked with a number of the accelerator programs in the area as a mentor and subject matter expert, I'm always coaching CEOs to be thinking about their market and looking at how they could best partner with the larger companies. There's so much innovation that's going on in the Valley. And there's so much technology that is being developed in you know, climate tech, metaverse, Web3. These are three of the areas that I'm pretty involved with regularly. Um, it is making sure when you go and start talking to the large companies that you're very clear as to what your value proposition is, how you fit, how you fit in their overall portfolio, and how you could take that to market with them. Those are things that I really try to impress upon with startup companies. Um, extremely solid advice. Uh, and I'm wondering if you know there's a good example that you could share with the audience. There's a company that comes to mind that is doing sustainable ESG uh, carbon net zero tires for the EV automotive sector of the industry. This is very important. Tires are a huge pollutant. And what a lot of people don't realize is that the tire dust that comes off the tire as it's shedding gets into our waterways, goes into the ocean, and then you've got microplastics and different types of pollutants that are adding to our overall problems with our climate. Uh, tires for electric vehicles actually wear out faster um, one-third to 50 percent faster than tires do for regular cars. Finding a market strategy that isn't direct to consumer but can take the car take the tires directly to market with a user so finding fleets for example that use electric vehicles. Okay. That's a really great example of how you're working with um, high growth startups and bringing them into the marketplace. Thank you so much for taking the time, Monette. It's been great chatting with you. Thank you for having me. Hope to see you at the show next year. We hope you enjoyed this interview. We look forward to seeing your comments on social. Please share and let us know what you think. The best place to post your comments and insights about our podcast is LinkedIn. Look for us at NTT.